What the hell are you doing? What the hell you're doing here, Frisco? I want some answers, Duke. Why my wife was framed and I want my wife, Felicia and I were almost killed with a printout from your computer. Well, I don't have time to... You better get out of here. Said I want some answers now. Listen, you cannot stay here, man. Your life is in danger if you are found here. You watch out for Angus Mackay. If he asks questions, you better have the answers. Isn't he coming to shape Duke up? Well, yes, it is a very important meeting tonight in Duke's office, if that's what you mean. Oh, here he is now. Ah, uh, Damon. Good evening, Angus. Mr. Mackay. Good evening. Well, I see you've closed up early this evening. Well, yes, I thought we would need the privacy. You know, I think that the time for looking for the printout is long over. I'm going to recommend the strongest possible actions. Yes, well, we'll talk about that when we meet with Duke. I assume he's up in his office waiting for us. Yes, sir. Nobody's going to make me leave this office till I get some answers. You have got to get out of here right now. I'll give you the answers later. Trust me. Trust you? You know, I care what happens to you and Felicia. Believe me. You know, it's going to take a lot for me to believe that. Yes, Duke. Angus Mackay and his associates are here. We're on our way up now. I've explained the situation to him. I don't think I can see anyone right now. I'm in the middle of a very important meeting with Mr. Frisco Jones. Stay on the line, Duke. Frisco Jones is up in the office with Duke. Frisco Jones, indeed. You know about him, Mr. Mackay? I've been kept informed. Well, I don't know why Frisco is up there, but this could present a real problem for us. No, not to me. Jones doesn't know who I am or who my friends are. Right. Duke. Yes. Mr. Mackay is on his way up now. Right. The only way I can save your life is to get back that printout you and Felicia have. Not a chance. You're a dead man if I don't get that printout. We lost it. What do you mean you lost it? fell in a bucket of water and dissolved. And did you decipher it first? That's why I'm here, to get another copy out of your computer. It get out of my way! Doing. I'm gonna make this look as worn as the last one wants you to take it. Take this, man! All right, what's going on here? Good to see you, Angus. I hope I'm not interrupting uh, an important meeting. No, well, this is an important meeting, but you're not interrupting. Uh, Angus, this is Frisco Jones. Frisco, this is Angus Mackay, an old friend of mine and a, a fellow countryman. Frisco and I have been discussing the missing printout. We've also been discussing how important it is that the printout be found. Where is it, Jones? It's safe. What he means is he hasn't, he hasn't turned it over to the police. Why not? Well, I have my reasons. We have been discussing this, this whole matter. Well, I'd like to hear it from Jones. You mean why I haven't turned it over to the police? Yes. Well, I know it's very valuable. I'm just holding on to it as a bargaining chip. <laughs> have you told him it might not be that important, Duke? Frisco is a very bright lad, Angus. You don't have to be very bright to figure out that it's important. I mean, a couple people have been killed because of it. Besides, I've sort of had it with the cops. And why have you had it with the cops? Because of their terrible treatment of my wife. You see, I never forgive anybody who hurts my wife. Oh, don't tell me we have a cop hater in our midst. Well, call it what you like, mister. I think things may be falling into our hands, I guess. What do you want, lad? I want to deal with the printout. 
I haven't turned it over to the cops yet, and I haven't deciphered it yet. You turn it over to us? Well, that depends. The deal could solve all our problems, Angus. Let me think. Did you check the room? It's clean. Frisco. Hmm? Why don't you walk over to the window there and admire the scenery for a couple of minutes? Let's deal with him. This is not the time to take a chance on any kind of bad publicity, Angus. All right, we'll deal with the lad. Frisco. Supposing we could get Felicia cleared, I mean completely cleared on all charges, would you hand over the printout? Can you guarantee it? Yes, we can guarantee it. I have found the man who framed Felicia. Would the man's confession be a fair exchange for the printout? If you can get Felicia off the hook, that's more than the cops in this city has ever done for me. And we have a deal. No. No, I want more. See, I've been booted from the force, so I don't have a job. I have a wife to support. Know what I mean? Well, with a man with your kind of talent, Frisco, I'm sure there won't be any problem. Would you like a job uh, singing in the club? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. You know, I never should have given up my singing career to begin with. Okay. You got the job? When can you deliver the printout? Right now. Sorry it got so roughed up in its travels. Where has this been hidden all this time? Yeah, behind a loose brick at the ADC warehouse. You have a deal, lad. Oh, I'm going to go down to the DA's office now and get this thing settled. What about Rick's bail money? Well, well, once the paperwork's been completed, he'll be sent a check. Anyway. I've got to get back to the club. Uh, Frisco, will you be coming by later? We, we could talk. Yeah. Yeah, in a little while, all right? Okay. Felicia, I'm very glad this ordeal is over for you. Thank you. And uh, thank you for hiring Frisco to sing at your club. Yeah, it's the least I can do. Excuse me. I'll see you out. Excuse me. Hey, Frisco. Yeah, come in. All right, it wasn't open. Yeah, we were just talking about you. Well, good things, I hope. Actually, Damon was inquiring about Marker's confession this morning. Yeah, how about that guy, huh? Listen, I uh, <clears throat> have to thank you again. I don't know how you did it, but you tripped him up. I'm glad I was able to help. It's amazing, isn't it? We have uh, such an efficient police department in Port Charles that we have to rely on citizens to get the bad guys, huh? Oh, union president, club owner, detective. Duke's a regular jack of all trades. Oh, well, I only hope Marcus's confession came in time to help perhaps save your career, Frisco. Well, it's my, my career's maybe going back to singing. It's, that police department can take their job and shove it. Those are harsh words from somebody who loved being a cop. I still do. That's not the point. The police department likes to tie your hands, go by the book. I don't work that way. Hey, now that's your decision. There's always a job singing here at the club of you, if you want it. Yeah, again, I appreciate that. You know, having this job sort of helped me get all of this I'm saying now off my chest at the station today. I sort of burned all my bridges. I heard about that. You really read off Anna Devane, huh? Yes, I did. I uh, let her have it. Well, I hope you weren't too harsh on her. You know, she'd be quite hurt by that. Well, I just told it like it was. You know, I have no problems with Anna Devane, the woman. It's and the the cop that creates my problems. Check, 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 check. Yeah, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the old one. Start with that one. One, two, one, two, three. For the money, two for the show. You get ready now, go, cats, go. Don't you step on my blue trade shoe.
Terrific. Have you ever thought of asking Felicia to join you? Oh, no, no, no. He's the singer in the family. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. You're making me sound pretty good here. Uh... No, I think you should sing along. No, I agree with Frisco. You're welcome here anytime. Then. <laughs> Thank you, Duke. <laughs> One more try, and I will kill you. Do you hear me? I will kill you. You answer me, man. Do you hear me? I hear you. You take him out of here before I keep black kill him. Right away, Duke. Let's go, pal. Come on. Let's go. You do good work. Yeah. Couldn't help but notice your little disagreement there. Uh... But you two are supposed to be associates and friends. Friends? We both know you know the score better than that. What was it all about? Uh, I just... It's just their long-standing debt. Damon ran out of credit. I was just collecting what was owed me. I heard Damon was questioned about bombing in his house. Yeah, he was. You think he did it? If I knew that for sure, I would have killed him. He'll know everything that's wrong around here pretty soon. Yeah, just ask him. Just ask him. Yeah. He got a right to be curious. He got a right to be more than that. Hey, you know, whatever you have to say is fine with me. Uh, you're, a, you're a good man. Uh, you and Felicia, you remind me of the people I knew at home. That's good. That's good. You gotta believe me, I, I, I never wanted to hurt anybody. I wasn't part of this whole ugly deal I got involved in. I wasn't part of it. What are you talking about? I didn't want to see anybody get hurt. And I would give my life before I saw Anna and Robin get hurt. But I just know that Duke and having trouble understanding. What are you talking about? I promise me you'll take care of Anna. Take care of Anna? What do you mean? Yeah, despite what your differences are, man, you promise me. Whatever happens, you will take care of Anna. Sure. You want to tell me what's going on? Huh. I know what I've got to do now. I never wanted any of this to happen. What are you talking about? I never wanted any of this to happen. Any of what to happen? You trust me. Tell me. You take care of Anna now. You take care of her, okay? Go. Yeah. Just watching and wondering. About what? 
You should invest in a new sound system. This one seems to be constantly broken. <laughs> Must be reading my mind. As soon as I can afford it, that's the first thing I'm going to buy is a new sound equipment. Don't tell my wife. She'd be very upset about that. You know, it's how women are. They always want to get their presents. Yeah. Something I want you to meet. Hey, Duke. Ah, uh, excuse me. I wonder if I could get a key to the storage room, huh? Well, Want something over the sound system again? Yeah, went on the fritz on me again last night. Yeah, okay. Going upstairs, I'll, I'll see you there. Okay. Listen, first down. I know what you're doing. I know what it is like to love someone the way you love me, she believes. Now, you wouldn't feel too good, would you, if you did something that was going to harm her? I don't know what you're talking about. You will figure it out. Now, you didn't ask me any questions when I helped you out with tights, Paul, with Damon, did you? How did you? Don't ask me any questions this time. Just hear me and stay out of it. Okay? Excuse me. What the hell are you doing here? Wondering where you've been, Lavery. Oh, you mean Damon's been wondering where I've been? No, we've all been wondering where you've been. Listen, I know you worked directly for Damon, in which case you two are just as guilty as he is for what happened. What happened? The bombing of Anna Devane's house. Look, we report to Mr. B. Or have you forgotten that? And in the end, we report to him. Kind of. I won't take my chances. Thanks a lot. Anytime. I hope you get back on the force real soon, let's go. Not everybody here agreed with the way you were planning that. I don't understand you, Duke. Well, I am very sorry, but I have bigger things to worry about at the moment. What about a lawyer? Hmm? I heard that you sent for Jake Myers and then you told him to go away, right? I don't need a lawyer. What about Ann and Robin? You need them? I love them both more than I love life itself. Well, then get a lawyer in here to clear this whole mess up. You shot the co-chief of police. Don't mess around. Because if you do, you may never see Ann and Robin again. You're gonna have to fight to get me. Hold on, buddy. It's Crisco. Sit down. This is good. Okay, we have to stand here for just a few minutes. What are you guys doing? I don't understand. Well, I'm just taking your handcuffs off right now. Sean's in on this, too. He just took out Burns and Kowalski, but he had to get to the courtroom. How did you raise it? The title was all off. Well, we were a little early. I'm always early. I hate that part when women are early. Don't you hate that when women are always early? No, this time I don't hate it. Hey, but I, I never thought Robert and Anna would ask you to help me. I thought you guys hated me. You saved our lives. Listen, you're a strange man to figure out, but we do owe you. Another thing I don't understand, I thought you were... 
co-pays. Well, let's get into that later, okay? Right now we have to get you someplace safe. That's right. We have to change our clothes and get to the courthouse before Ramsey realizes you escaped. I'm gonna drop this van off in an alley. There's a car waiting there for you. You can get away that way. I got some clothes in the van. We can change back here. And I've got your sunglasses and an ID just in case you need it that Sean made up special. And car keys. And where, where am I gonna go? Is that being decided yet? Yeah, Anna said the cottage. She said you'd know where that was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Our cottage. You still love her a lot, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, she's... Yeah, she's in my blood, but I... I realize that... where I'm concerned, it's over. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I didn't deserve her love in the first place. No, don't say that. Oh, we have left is the truth now. Here, yeah, but okay. It's all right, Duke. Well, our mission accomplished, huh? No, yeah, I'd say so. Now, I suppose this kind of recovery is rather uncommon in this room, huh? Yeah, let's just get this makeup off of you and the tape off. Hey, I want to. Thank you all uh, for what you've done for me. Well, it's Thank not you. over yet. We got a stash in Yang's van. That's the only way out of this place. Okay. as the path to your favorite disco. Who says you can't be home, huh? What are you talking about? We all worked last year on a case that brought us down to these catacombs. That's right. Frisco and Robert saved my people. That's why I owe them a lot. And that's why I agreed to help them keep you on ice for a while. Yeah, well, it certainly is uh, chilly enough down here. Yeah, well, you better get used to that, pal. I was in here for weeks last year. She helped keep me alive. Except she can do the same for you, huh? So that's what all this is about, is it? It's important that you stay alive, Duke, to get us all out of this mess. I'll do whatever I can to help. And you'll be safe here. Yeah, we start the place with a few supplies, and we'll bring back another lamp and some food and blankets, okay? Thank you. I, I appreciate what you've all done for me. Just hang in there, dude. You haven't seen anything yet. I see. Thank you. Well, is there anything we can get you before we go? Yeah, I'm really worried about Angel. I don't suppose it would be possible to tell him that I'm not really dead, would it? No. Robert's got everything worked out. We'll tell him as soon as possible. Okay. I'm, uh... I'm proud I've got... Robert Scorpio on my side. Well, Robert's a great guy. He thinks of everything. Yeah, he does. I can understand why Anna would fall in love with a man like that. Oh, Dick, that was a long time ago. Yeah. All the same, he's certainly more deserving of her love than I ever was. Nothing between Anna and Robert anymore. Yeah, there's nothing between Anna and I anymore either. But don't be so quick to put an end to it. Nah, why? I can't fool myself any longer. It's over. She sees me as a criminal. Her only desire is to have me punished. I can't forget what I've done to her. Ouch. Hey, watch it. What's all this? Just a few supplies. To keep you warm. Are you going to turn this place into a swinging bachelor pad? I, it's going to be more comfortable than the prison cell I'm going to have to face sooner or later. Well, I want you to be comfortable. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Thank you very much. Well, it's not often that a jive grandma like me gets to help a dude come back from the dead. Well, it looks like you're just about all set, huh? Anything else we can get for you before we leave? No, well... Uh, I'm fine for tonight, thank you. I'll be around in the area, dude. You need help? Just yell. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Felicia, can I have a word with you before you go? Um. I'll just wait on you. What is it? I want to get a message to Anna. Would you be willing to take a message to her for me? Oh, of course. I really am. I'm so sorry for all the hell that I've put Anna and Robin through. When I was lying in the morgue, I realized what a mess I'd made of my life. 
And I really wish there was some way that I could make all of that up to her. Would you just tell her, please, that I love her very, very much? I'll give her the message. Ah, uh, you have to get going. Okay. Now wait, wait. About about what I said. Oh, I'm not gonna forget. I promise. I want you to forget. I don't want you to. Don't tell her what I said. I want. It's better that Anne and Robert forget all about me. Oh no, you don't mean. Yes, I I mean it. I've been nothing but trouble to her since the day that we met. Please forget everything I told you. I want them to forget about me before anything else happens. It's better this way. It should be over. My oh, Duke. He won't tell her. Anytime. I'm going crazy in here. What's happening? I don't have much time, so I'm going to be straight with you. Robert was really angry that Anna came down here. She's putting her life on the line, Duke. Now, she's off limits coming down here. I just got to be straight with you about that. I don't want any lectures. Thank you. I just want you to know where Robert stands with this. The world has to think that Duke Labor goes dead. That's the only way we're keeping you alive. I need to pick your brain about something. Yeah, well, you're welcome to what's left of her. Angel overheard a conversation Damon was having. It was in code. I was able to decipher the name Pilgrim. Does that mean anything to you? No, no damn thing. We couldn't figure it out either. He was able to come up with one other thing. The disc is in the Louvre. Does that mean anything to you? No, it doesn't mean anything. Hey, what's happening with Angel? He's playing a dangerous game. Don't worry about Angel. He's holding up his end just fine. Don't go crazy down here, all right? I'll be, yeah. I'll be back to keep you posted. Fort Charles, you've got it. That's Damon's voice. Let's go, Bert Ramsey. Well, everything's on schedule. Angus is on Sister Island and just waiting for the pilgrim's arrival. Well, with Duke dead, we won't have any problem bringing the rest of our people here to Port Charles. <laughs> Happy retirement, Mr. What's happening with your end of the operation? Well, everything's moving very smoothly. Angel turned over the books. You'll be amused to know that Duke tried to smurf a whole bunch of money through the union, uh, the dock workers' union fund. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we'll see that that money stays in the dock workers' family as a, a courtesy to Duke. Ah, yes. The dock workers' savings and loan. I'll be on the board of directors, so we'll make sure that money is put to good use. <laughs> Anything else? End of report. <sighs> Everything is falling into place very nicely. Our expatriates from Europe will be coming over with a nice bunch of money. With Duke dead and out of the way, we're going to take over this city. Hey, I better get back to headquarters. You stick here a couple of minutes. I don't want anybody to see us leaving together. That god. I heard one set of footsteps. Are you sure? Mr. Allen's the key to busting this organization, Duke. I'm gonna get to Robert. 